was recording the whole time. Oh my god, that was nasty! Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Spirit, and I'm back again with another video. And in this video is going to be the basics to using Sony Vegas Pro 14, 15, 16, doesn't matter which one. It will be the same for each Sony Vegas. And now, what you want to do is if you don't have Sony Vegas already, I'll link a video on how to get it for free with the Sapphire plugins, which you need if you want to be doing advanced editing. So this is going to be part one of my editing tutorial. I'll make another one on how to actually like edit how to use effects how to do stuff that i do on my channel that you see and yeah let's just jump right into it so now you want to go to file new and then okay you'll be here now these plugins you see bcc and then if i scroll down it says s underscore these are downloadable plugins that you can buy or you can get them for free i got them for free the, the only plugins you'll get are these that have no like name next to it just like regular defaults so now what you want to do is get your clip and music and song that you're going to use so clip i'm using is some deagle clip from my last video and um the song i'm using is a non-copyrighted song from soundcloud and now when you put your clip what you want to do is usually sync it up and what i mean by that is where the beat drops is where you hit the clip so I'll do that real quick. Okay, I have it synced up. Now this is what it looks like. Look at the camera. I was recording the whole time. Oh my god, that was So basically what you have done is you synced it up to the beat drop. So now what you usually do is every time you hear a beat you click M and what M does it puts a marker so you know what beat goes where let me put all the markers to the beat and I'll come right back so I marked every single beat that I heard on this song now what you want to do is match it up okay now splitting Splitting you click S and when you click S it separates the two clips So you can do whatever you want with this and whatever you want with that So basically what I do how I put my pumps and shakes I usually just split from every marker like this and Then I'm not gonna like do the rest. I'm gonna delete these and then S to split the song as well and then you want to go to the top of this which is a fade click and then drag and then right click on it and then choose the third one which is like a fast fade so now you want to learn pumps okay now when you get sapphire plugins you're gonna see this plugin called blur mo curves now when you click that you'll see you you won't have all this these are all my presets that i have made in the past what you would have is default you want to put the default here and usually to do a pump you just go to Z this and put it down to however you feel is good for the clip I usually stick to 0 0.7 which is 700 now after that you're gonna want to go to wrap X wrap Y click it reflect oh I missed that reflect and then usually I like to mess with the exposure which is the motion blur I used to let I like to turn it down a little bit and the shutter shift down to right after you're gonna want to click the clock right next to um z disk which is animate click it now when you go more to the middle you want to click you want to double click it to go back to the normal the normal um uh the normal size of the video clip and then you want to go to the end of the clip and go back and put 0 0.7 and it'll automatically go to 0 0.700 and then you want to right click on this little circle thing fast fade do the same thing for this but put slow fade same thing for this and put fast fade now basically what that does it does a little this i was recording the whole time i was recording the whole time i was recording the whole time 
So now what you want to do is do the same thing for these clips. And this is how it will look. I was, I was the whole time. Oh my god, that was nasty! That's pretty clean if I say so myself. So now, what you want to do, if you want to add a little bit of shake camera movement, you're going to want to scroll down to see S underscore shake, which is right here. Like, like I said again with the blur move curve, you would not have all these. These are all my presets I have made in the past. You would only have default. But for this purpose, I'm not going to make a whole new shake. I'm going to show you guys the shake that I have. I will leave this pro project file in the description so you can save any preset you want. And um, so the shake I'm gonna use is an X Y bounce, which is which means it's going up and down and a little bit of tilting in the corners. So now you want to click the little clock on um animate. You want to go all the way to the to the uh, ending of the clip. You want to scroll it down to zero, and then right click on the circle, fast fade, and then you're good. The shake up here, you want to press hold and put it behind the blur mode curve. And this is how it will look. It gives us that little shake. So now if you want it to like disappear faster, like fade away faster, you want to just click the ending and drag it a little bit forward. And then it will look like this. So you can see what's going on instead of seeing blurriness and a lot of shaky movements if you have bad eye. So yeah, now you just want to do that to the, for the rest of the clips, and this is how it will look. Now, if you want to be a little more technical, you're going to want to add like, like warps, rays, glows, bubbles, puddles, etc. Now, what I would do here is add a little warp bubble. And um, you can pick default, it doesn't matter. And then click the amplitude A and um, no, A amplitude and A frequency. And come down here to B amplitude and B frequency. Click both of them. And then go a little bit to like the middle of the clip. And then put both, all four of them down to zero. Warp like this. Makes the clip look a lot more like I don't know, like it makes it look better, kind of. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is um a little bit of um Magic Bullet Looks, which is another plugin you're gonna have to download. I'll put that link down below on a video how to get it. Now what this does is make your game look like this and turn it into a whole nother like I don't even know how to per put it, but It'll just make it look completely, it'll make it look completely different. So, usually I have a bunch of these presets that I'm, that I have, that I'm just going through to see which one looks really good. I like this, I kind of like this. It's like a mood type of CC. Hey, hey. I, I now, if you want to add it to all the clips, all you have to do is click the, the clip that is the beat drop, hold shift, and then click to the, the ending of your edit. And then you want to go to your uh, CC, click, drag, and put it there, and you should be good. It'll be on all the clips. Remember, guys, I'm leaving this preset down below. So if you want to, you can download it and save the presets that are on this um, video. I was recording all the time. Oh, my God, that was nasty. I was recording all the time. Oh, my God, that was nasty. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you coming along, liking the video, subscribing. Um, my channel's been really dead. I think I might switch to tutorial videos. Once in a blue moon, I'll upload a Fortnite montage. So yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to download this preset if you want to, like, if you want to use the same effects I used in this video. Make sure to slap a like, subscribe, comment what you want to see next. Part two to editing tutorial to an editing tutorial is coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.